The molecules in a substance are held together by intermolecular bonds. We can imagine these molecules as balls of matter, which are held together by springs. These springs model the intermolecular bonds between the molecules. They stop the molecules from moving freely and help the substance keep its structure. Then these bonds have potential energy stored in them. The molecules themselves have kinetic energy, causing them to constantly move or vibrate. However, the bonds stop the molecules from moving too much by taking some of this energy. We can think of this like the spring being stretched as the molecules move, which causes some of their energy to be stored in this bond as the molecules do work against it. For your exams, you don't need to fully understand what this potential energy is, but you need to know it's related to intermolecular forces and bonds, as well as how it changes between states of matter. Let's look at each state and understand the potential energy and intermolecular bonds we'd find. So first, in a solid, the molecules are held in a rigid structure. Remember that the structure of a solid would be something like this, where the molecules are held in place and can only vibrate rather than move. The solid has this structure because the molecules are being held together by very strong bonds. This means there is a large amount of potential energy stored in their bonds. So the stronger the bonds, the more energy must be stored in them. So substances in the solid state will have the most potential energy. The stronger the bonds, the more energy must be stored in them. So substances in the solid state will have the most potential energy. Then, in a liquid, the molecules can move and flow around each other. Remember, this is what the structure of a liquid looks like. The molecules aren't moving independently, but they also aren't in a rigid structure. This is because the bonds between the molecules are weaker, so they can move around more. So since the molecules still have bonds holding the liquid together, but these aren't particularly strong, there is a moderate amount of potential energy stored in their bonds. And finally, in a gas, the bonds between molecules are very weak. Remember that gas molecules move freely and independently. This is because of how weak the bonds between them are. In fact, they are almost non-existent, and they don't really restrict the motion of the molecules. This means there is a tiny amount of potential energy stored in their bonds. So solids have the most potential energy and gases have the least. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.